Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. And today I'm going to have another go at a live solve. So this is Thursday's Times, number 26,956. Here we go. Um, just takes a few seconds for the puzzle to come up. And I'll just crack straight up and right one across. The Swiss dressed smarter than all the others. Um, must end in EST, I would have thought. For smarter than all the others, two down. Drink, small amount. Gentlemen regularly refused. Regularly there. E T E A, yes. White tea. I didn't even know that was a drink, but it works. So, for wit and then some of the regular letters. Pasta port and no end of fizzy drink. Pasta zitty. That's probably a more obvious one. Oh, the Swiss dressed, so it's an anagram swishest. Okay, the S was the W was helpful. Among children, a boy is mature. Sons, a lad. Seed, seasoned, yes. A son among seed. Four down, no half term upset in school, Eton, no and half term upside down. Head of theology accompanied by different senior dons. Oh, I think dons is doing something clever there. Wow. Pasta, oh, rigatoni, riga and tonic, yes, okay. Oh, stony broke for poor, relative from New York. Oh, I can't write today. Oh, yeah. 15. Drug, dog trainer's assistant runs after large poodle ultimately. I uh, should be able to see that. 13 buns, someone from Belgrade, Belgrade a Serb, brought, brought round with a funny filling. Bread rolls, a droll in the Serb. Um, five down now. Head of theology, accompanied by different senior dons. Oh, an anagram senior. Tries on. Ah, that's very neatly worded. Dons is the definition. Eleven swap halfpennies and farthings, perhaps exchange. Former change. Checked loud pitter patter, might you say? Rain din. Little homophone phrase. Six down. Loose screw in the firearm. Anagram of screw in the. Seven, maybe anteater, it's an Eden Tate in garden, say, state hiding head. Meat insufficiently reduced in price. Drugs agent buried in frozen Arctic, that's a hidden. Learner French student of French involved dirt in stunt, yep. Student was right. Undercut? Is that me? Yes, undercut. Insufficiently reduced in price. Okay. Clever pun. Didn't know what that dog trainer thing was. Leave fish ball accompanying stew. Mm -hmm. Sister worried. None eaten. Getting picked up is a homophone indicator there. Oh, what is it? Office staff on leave before end of August. That's T. On a department. Okay, that works. Train wherein I visited dining car. Isn't that a dinette or something? No. Woman finally visiting a region abroad. So. Looks like an anime region with N in, but it must be an analytic clue then. Mean fight shortly taking place near boxing venue. Sparing fight is spar without its R, but then ring. 
Um, oh, that woman. Train where in I visited dining car. So where in? Ah, can't see that. Oh, fish ball dumpling. But that would be in the middle. Oh, ball accompanying stew is the definition of dumpling. Right, this could be initiate. Can that mean train? In it I ate. Crikey, I suppose so. Woman, so that's Georgina finally visiting. Okay, so it's not and lit. It's just a G from visiting in the anagram. Boozy type, wino, wind zero. 23, designer using short rags with holes in. First of fibs by annoying tale teller. And not, um, Franklin, he's one of the tale tellers in Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Let's try 15 down. Talented person's curry concoction. Ah. Close on agreement after raising late drink. Nightcaps a late drink. I think it's nightcap. No, oh, so 15 could be handler, dog trainer's assistant. Hand is an assistant and runs, yeah. Okay. L for large, E for the last bit of poodle, so hot stuff. Talented person and carry concoction. Strange definition. What strange pun anyway. Singular item of clothing linked to ancient tog and a. That is an ad lit. This is nightcap, I think. Packed. Nigh and packed. Right. And t I don't know a word that fits here. Designer. Tattooer. Using short rags. Tatters. Wow. Oh, well, that's not written right. Let's correct that and finish the puzzle. That's taken a bit longer than usual. Now, maybe that's through the talking. There were some quite hard clues there in some ways, but uh, nothing individually that felt like it should have taken very long in a way. Um, I mean, it's still a pretty fair time. Seven minutes and six seconds. Um, it's quite early in the day, so there won't be many to compare with. One across took me too long to discern that that was an anagram. Nine was a homophone. Ten was made up of two bits. Eleven was a pun. There were quite a few puns. The X change, the undercut. Um, in it I ate at 25 across. Let me try and explain that because that may not be clear. Train. It's a very unusual definition for initiate. Initiate, the definition would normally refer to the fact that you're beginning something, but here it's referring to the fact that you, in, if you initiate someone in um, a process, you train them. And wherein I visited dining car, that pun kind of just refers to the fact that if you were talking about a dining car to somebody, you might say, in it, I ate, which is a full sentence um, and is kind of defined by, or could be stated another way by saying, wherein I visited dining car. That's a bit confusing. I'm not even convinced they're exact replacements in a sentence, but there we go. Um, so yeah, the puns were quite hard. Tattooer at 23, the last one. Designer using short rags with holes in. So the designer is the definition. And then tatters is shortened by taking off the S. And the holes put in are the two O's, um, which look like holes in a way, because they're round, I suppose. Never seen OO defined as holes before. It's the first time for a lot of things. Um, yeah, I wasn't absolutely sure how this worked. Poor relative. Poor was the definition. Um, relative from New York going into Pottery Centre. Stoke. 
Okay, Stoke is the pottery centre because that's where Wedgwood's factory and, and all the pottery making in England at one time was. And the relative from New York is an NY bro. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a neat, a neat pun. I mean, there were a few fairly straightforward clues, but even even a couple of anagrams at five and six down were really rather well hidden. Head of theology, that's the letter T, and that was fairly clear but accompanied by different senior. Certainly didn't mean to me at first that that goes with an anagram of senior. And the whole clue structure has been set up very well to disguise the real meaning of dons, which looks like Oxford professors or whatever, but in fact means puts on some clothing. And six down, loose is the anagram indicator. Screw in the is the fodder that you have to anagram to get the firearm, which is a Winchester rifle. Very neat puzzle. Really, you know, you can kind of see the crafting in the clues there. It's very well made, even though some of them are theoretically straightforward, they're very well disguised and uh, very enjoyable. So I hope that's done something for you and um, hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic. Please do subscribe and uh, feel free to like the video as well. Thanks for your time.